Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the May 18th, 2021, 630 uh, normal meeting of the Charlton Board of Selectmen. Uh, we're going to start off with uh, the approval of minutes. Uh, first is April 27th. Uh, looking for a motion and or corrections. So moved. To accept. All right, I got a motion by David, second by Patsy. Roll call vote as always, as we stay remote. Let's start with uh, Selectman Singer. Aye. Vice Chair Ridlock. Aye. Clerk Sorowski. Aye. Uh, chair votes aye. Those are unanimous. Uh, next up, the minutes of the regular meeting of May 4th. Move to accept. Second. I have a motion, we have a second. Any, any discussion? Hearing none, roll call vote. Patsy. Aye. David? Aye. Asha? Aye. Chair votes aye. Those are unanimous. Uh, next up, we're going to be doing community relations and announcements. In what I am hoping we're starting a new tradition, uh, Chairman's prerogative, I have asked uh, Clark Zorowski to be our permanent uh, announcement reader, <laughs> 11 months at least. So, Basha, let me turn it over to you. Announcements for today. Brookfield Road Bridge Reconstruction Project will begin June 15th, 2021. The bridge closure is scheduled to begin July 1st, 2021. Details will be posted. Please seek alternate routes. Carpenter Hill Road, starting June 2nd, 2021. Reclaiming will begin. Paving starts June 7th, 2021. There will be a partial closings during the reconstruction project. Last but not least, the town hall will be closed on Monday, May 31st, 2021, in observance of Memorial Day. Thank you very much, Basha. Before we get to community forum, our open forum, anyone uh, on the board have anything or in the office that they want to add? All right. Uh, hearing none, let's go over to open forum. Anyone in the audience have anything that they want to talk through? Looks like we have four attendees on. All right, then hearing none, we are going to continue to move on. Andrew, uh, first up, uh, we have our appointments and resignations. All right, uh, disband of second advisory committee. As the annual town meeting has passed, I'd recommend the board disband the second advisory committee. As you know, the committee was reconstituted in January 2021 to review the stipends of elected and appointed officials and to have it ready for annual town meeting, which they did. I'd like to thank Richard Vaughn, Robert Leary, Jean Vincent, Frank Morrell, and Bill Borowski for the professionalism and professionalism and diligence in getting the job done. We prepare letters thanking them for their hard work, and they are in the board's folder to sign. Mr. Chair, so much. Second. Uh, motion, second. We got motion and a second, respectively. Discussion. And again, personal thanks to the other members of the um, committee. I think it worked out well at town meeting for everyone. And warm welcome to Selectman Coronas. So I'll take a roll call vote, Basha. Yay. Patsy. Aye. David. Yes. Steve. Aye. Chair votes aye. The, the committee is officially disbanded at least for another three or four, five, six, seven years. So. <laughs> All we appreciate it. Uh, next up, the resignation, unfortunately, of our outreach coordinator. Attached is a letter from Catherine S. Parasau, resigned from her position as outreach coordinator for the Council on Aging, effective June 16th, 2021, as she will be moving out of state. A letter thanking her for her time and commitment she provided to the town is in your signed folder. The board should accept Ms. Parasau's resignation. We have a motion. We have a motion. We have a second. Second. Any discussion? Mr. Chair, just to please uh, send her a letter from the board thank her for her service. I think Andrew might have just said that. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, yes, yeah, like I would say, absolutely. And again, obviously it is with regret. She'll, she'll be missed. All right, not hearing any other discussion. A roll call vote. Uh, Steve, let's start with you. Aye. Basha. Yes. Patsy. Aye. David. Yes. Chair votes aye. Thank you very much. Uh, best of my knowledge, Andrew, we have no scheduled appointments. Uh, we do not. Even better. Under new business, first up, Charlton Lions Club uh, for the annual toll road. The Charlton Lions Club is requesting permission to hold a toll road in Charlton Center, the intersection of Main Street and the Sonic Home Road, on Saturday, June 5th, 2021, from 9 a.m. to 12 noon, with a rain date of June 12th, 2021. 
This request was forwarded to Police Chief Dowd, who is in support of the toll booth, contingent upon the following safety precautions. All volunteers must wear bright colored vests while soliciting donations. Orange traffic cones must be set out on Main Street and Masonic Home Road for a distance of not less than 50 feet on each respective way prior to reaching the toll station. A minimum of five traffic cones on each roadway should be in place at distance no greater than 10 feet apart. Signs warning voluntary toll booths ahead must be erected on both the Sonic Home Road and Main Street no less than 75 feet from the toll station and no stopping of cars or impeding the flow of traffic in any way. Money raised for this event will be used for helping the community and I'd recommend the board approve this request. Mr. Chair, so move with the chief stipulations. Motion, do we have a second? Yes. A second from Steve, any discussion? The, the Lions Club has been doing this for, we all know for a decade at least, <clears throat> probably two. And so I think it's a, it's a great, it's a great idea. Let them keep continuing here. Steve, Steve, do you happen if they'll have Tootsie Rolls again this year? <clears throat> that's not, that's not flowers and stuff. No, no, that's, oh, that's, that's a fire department. Gotcha. <laughs> that's, you know. That's, Can they get to? No, 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 that's the Knights of Columbus. I think that. That's oh, all right. Well, I, 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 I think they want to give out. Food. I think they're going to use Swedish Swedish fish instead. Now, so I can say, now you're thinking. Yeah. We have a motion in a second. This is a great cause, everybody. Please, again, as to Steve's point, they do an awful lot for the community. So you know, reach reach deep, reach deep in, in those pockets when you're driving by, and go slow. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> roll call vote. Start with Steve. Aye. Basha. Aye. Good luck. Aye. David? Aye. Chair votes aye. That is unanimous. Looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, next up, we have a representative overlook. Basically, we're looking to make a request to change the BYOB rules. Andrew, if you can give us the 30 second elevator speech on this one. All right. So, attaches the request from the uh, overlook requesting um, the BYOB for the Acadia dining room, or I say the Acacia dining room. Uh, currently, the BYOB allows uh, patrons to bring their own beer and wine for the hours limited Thursday, Friday, Saturday evenings, uh, 5 to 10. Um, they're looking for an expansion of those hours. Uh, uh, Dowd and uh, Building Commissioner both approved the request. And Andrew, forgive me, I think they're also making an ad, unless I read this correctly, to make yeah. it Sorry. as well. Uh, that is correct. It's ad as well. Yeah. Uh, again, motion to motion. Oh, okay. To, to approve, I'd like to know the hours they're expanding, or just expand the day or the hours. Uh, lunch Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Dinner Monday through Saturday, 4 o'clock p.m. to 7 p.m. And Sunday brunch, 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. And then uh, extend the hours each day by one hour to accommodate the last reservations of diners. Thank you. And second singer, I believe there's uh, Mr. Roush is on uh, from Overlook. I don't know if he wanted to speak on this at all. I know there's a motion on the floor, so let me entertain a second first. A second. So, Patsy, thank you for the second. Uh, Jeremy, do you want to add anything? It's okay if you don't. I'm uh, I'm here if you have any questions or need any more detail. We're uh, yeah. very grateful uh, to you for considering this. I think, you know, Overlook's always been a great partner uh, with us in overall in the community. So I think generally speaking, anything that we can ever do to help, uh, I think, you know, as long as it's reasonable, we will. So just, uh, just out, out of curiosity, is this something new or is this that you're kicking off or? This isn't new. This has been in place. Uh, okay. I, I've been there two years, but this predates me. It was brought to our attention that uh, the requirements around bring your own had changed in the town and that we would need to approach it differently. Um, so in discussions with our residency, as well as um, individuals there at the town, uh, we, we uh, asked for this consideration so that we can stay concurrent with our past practice for our residents. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, for further questions for Andrew and or Jeremy. All right, hearing none, we have a motion and we have a second. Uh, let's take a roll call vote. Uh, Basha? Yes. Patsy? Aye. Steve? Aye. David? Yes, sir. 
Chair votes aye. That's unanimous, Jeremy. I hope you and the residents all enjoy yourselves. Please be safe. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, next, uh, select the summer schedule. My favorite topic. Andrew, you're up. Okay. <laughs> Chairman Borowski asked for this slide to be on the agenda. In the past, um, due to each selectman's vacation schedule in the summer, we weren't always able to get quorum for meetings. Chairman Borowski is asking the board to consider having one meeting in July and one meeting in August on the second Tuesday of each month. Should there need to be a meeting called, each member will be notified. What are the wishes of the board? So moved. And <laughs> we, have a, we have a motion. Do we have a second for discussion? Second. <laughs> um, just let me say on this, and again, thank you. Uh, Really, the key is I think it's been years since we've actually had a real summer schedule, but this iteration of the board, as well as the prior iteration, honestly, has been working hard for a long time now. And as things are starting to calm down, I think that the more we can kind of give everyone a break and not have to monitor, I think the better off. We'll be. I literally threw out the second, the second Tuesday. We can do whatever week of the month that people prefer. So I don't know people's vacation schedules, etc. If you all want to get in touch with Andrew, we can just assume that we're going to meet once in July, once in August, unless something's pressing. So if you have any problems with those dates, just let Andrew know and we'll schedule around everybody as best we can. Phil had originally asked for the sixth Tuesday, but we said no. Well, that's because oh, I don't trust uh, you. Do, <laughs> um, do, we, um, do we know if Zoom will still be usable in the summer? Like with the, with the state regs and stuff? Great question, um, Andrew. Um, I think that there might be some special legislation coming out on this because right now without it at the end of the governor's emergency order on June 15th, those provisions will go away and we'll have to go kind of back to the majority of the board having to meet in person. Mm -hmm. So I'm anticipating between now and then the legislature will, I will realize that a lot of good business happened over Zoom uh, that could have, couldn't have happened otherwise. So, um, or to come on that, but I, I would say probably for our next meeting, we should at least plan for it to be in person, even though it's a week before the end of that order. Thank you. Though, I mean, the reason why I ask is it, it's kind of less less important on the dates if we we can, you know, wherever we are, we can hop on Zoom. But um, yeah. it should be. We should probably think about the Fourth of July weekend if if the fourth falls on that to mm -hmm. just look yeah, at the yeah. holidays, but. So it looks like the, the second Tuesday in July will actually be on the 13th. Okay, that's perfect. Second okay. Week. So go. okay. And, and again, as a reminder to those board members, as well as those at home, we also have a remote attendance policy. So as long as we read a disclosure, if people are away, as long as hypothetically, as long as that majority was in person, other people could, could actually just dial in too. So they, Patsy, yeah, that's a great question. Okay. So I think that we can be flexible enough to make it all happen. So I think the assumption is no matter what, um, the idea being, again, with the motion of the second, we will try our best to only meet once in July, once in August, respectively. And But if we need to meet again or shuffle dates around, that we will. So any other discussion, questions, concerns? Hearing none, roll call vote. Uh, Patsy, let's start with this time. Aye. Aye. Basha. Aye. David. David. Okay, aye. You can hear Thank me. Yeah, yeah. I was napping. We, yeah, we can hear you. <laughs> um, uh, chair votes aye. That is unanimous. We will do our best to keep that schedule. Uh, let me see. Next up, old business. Uh, we're talking around the four score post community agreement amendment that we'd asked to get brought back. Andrew, again, 30 second elevator speech on this All one. All right. So uh, this is basically the re legal counsel reviewed version of. Um, the amendment to uh, the agreement that would extend that date and recognize the change in ownership. And legal counsel has signed off on this? Legal counsel has reviewed and approved with changes. Perfect. Again, as a reminder, those at home, long story short, um, four scores changing ownership. We had asked uh, additional time to review the document. We also extended out the date that was that's now part of all of our HCAs on a go forward. Um, that there is a time proper that they have to have some uh, basically licensing by. If they don't, they have to come back in and ask for another extension. It allows more authority and control for the board of selectmen to make sure that licenses aren't just sitting stagnant while things are waiting and people aren't moving on it. So, you know, I think that's a good move for us. Again, I have no objection even pushing it up further, assuming 
that people are actually making um, progress and at least making a good faith effort to get said, said license. So uh, additional discussion, or I will entertain a motion depending on the board's wishes. So moved. We have a motion, we have a second. 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 Yeah. Uh, I got Steve, I got Steve on that one. So any other discussion? Thank you. Uh, roll call, uh, David. Yes. Patsy. Aye. Thank you, Steve. Aye. Basha. Aye. Chair votes aye. We are unanimous. Again, welcome to the new owners. Looking forward to working with you. And Patsy and Steve, I'm assuming that they're going to start going to the marijuana communities once, um, you know, one, I think once the lawyer, the lawyer is not going to change. So we'll probably have the same people. Did they, I don't, I don't think he confirmed that yet though, but right. Yeah. I think they're still working through it, but yeah. if they don't yeah. show up, yeah. please let us know. And we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll just make sure as a group that they start showing up. Okay. Yep. We'd like to see their beautiful faces. Exactly. All right. Uh, next up, we have a BOS uh, committee reports. Uh, first up, uh, Pat <coughs> for CMRPC. Pat, do you know if there's anything that you want to talk about? Nothing for me. Uh, only briefly for those at home and the board members, I think you saw uh, the email and our postings, but long story short, we had did a couple streets and intersections over to CMR, CMR, CMRPC for their assistance uh, to take a look at it for safety reasons. We're just waiting to hear back at this point. You know, As we all know, state government and even quasi state um, agencies sometimes run a little slow. So we are making progress, everyone at home. The board is very committed to doing everything we can. Uh, so thank you for that as well, Patsy. Uh, next up, Steve, anything that you want to talk around EDC? Um, no, well, we haven't met. Since since we saw each other yesterday, so but um, but I was but I was happy that they uh, happy to see, and I think townspeople understand what how valuable the EDC is, and and what they, and, and their performance last night. I'm very proud of what they did. They they brought up some interesting points, and they're cheerleaders for the town. So that's yeah, we're off and running. We've had like three meetings, but we're we're um, well beyond getting our sea legs. I'll leave it at that. Excellent. Thank you, Second Cross. Uh, let me see. Next one, we have the Fire Station Building Committee. I, think, I, don't, I don't think there's anyone online on this in the participants, Andrew, unless I'm missing it. Uh, no, there aren't. So I think that's a conversation we're going to want to have uh, in the upcoming months around do we disband it? Do we place it a high? Like, basically, I think we need to come up with an overall plan specifically for the, for the Fire Station Building Committee, not necessarily for our plans going forward for the fire station repairs unless they happen to intersect like a Venn diagram. I think that's just something that we need to talk about on a go forward, but not necessarily tonight. I think we all still need time to digest what happened and you know how we can best support um, our, our public safety personnel. And okay. to assign somebody, maybe Basha, to kind of represent, to you know place Karen's place there. Um, it's, so we can maybe at the, on the next meeting, we can do the vote since we don't really have it posted, but. I think that is a great idea. Basha, Basha do you want to consider it? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. Why not? I think it's important. Yeah. It is. I, no, Patsy, that's a, that's a great point. In fact, I think we uh, need to all talk around committee assignments again at some point. That's so, excellent. Yeah. Just to figure out who's going to do what this year. Yeah. This is, I think it's. This is an important one, and we certainly don't want to let it fall off the radar. So I think we, Basha, thank you for doing that. All right, uh, LNG, Patsy, anything going on there? So There's that, nothing. That, we're that still we waiting. About. We're. I mean, I I know um, Andrew was working on some of the, um, the kind of like the host agreement a little bit, but there's really there, there's been no news um, and no committee activity. Just sort of waiting for the state to do their. Andrew, you well, can substitute, you can. No, it's fine. Um, yeah, I say I'll, I'll belay any comments for executive session discussion. So. We all appreciate everyone who's working on that committee. I know it's very difficult at times. So thank you. Uh, next up, the Marijuana Advisory Committee. I know we touched on it. Patsy, do you know if there's anything else you want to add? So nothing, nothing new. The meetings are really short and sweet right now. Um, much activity. Um, we all know that um, the green gold has you know is recreational now but there's, there's not really everything's kind of 
uh, smoothly flowing, right? It's mm -hmm. perfect. Excellent. And last but certainly not least, uh, David, I don't know if you want to give any update on the sex offender bylaw. Just that that is still on target for hopefully having it on the fall town meeting warrant. Gotcha. Yep. So Andrew, that's something to think around when we think around our calendar. Let's make sure we don't lose sight of when articles need to be done so we can have whatever hearings that we need to on that. We, we, we just don't want to fall through the cracks. All right. As long as you get something, probably end of August. You got it. All right. Uh, let me see. Next up, we have... Uh, I don't think we have any policies to review. Again, if any, if any selectmen want it, a policy to, to be amended or, or even a new policy, you know, give us a yell uh, and we'll get it on the agenda. Uh, goals and objectives. Uh, Andrew, do you want to talk about that at all or is it pretty straightforward? Um, still we can just, I guess, dispense of that. I wasn't really prepared on that one with town meeting. So Yeah, no, that's fine. Henry, our favorite uh, part of the evening. Let's go over to you to talk around what's going on up at the Hill and with you. Thank you. All right, let me just share my screen. Oh, it's not letting me. I'll just read it. Sorry about that. No All right, so everything's been kind of slowing down at the high school level. Uh, the school committee, uh, no major decisions are up front. Uh, we're stable in the current learn learning model as is. Uh, contact tracing has slowed down as well. So it's everyone's been easing back. And of course, with the new mask regulations coming out too, it's been a lot more normalcy than it has been the entire year. So uh, the senior events coming up, that's kind of been the main focus of administration is honoring their class of 2021 after the year in the pandemic. So this Friday is the senior reception uh, at Wachusett Mountain. So seniors will enjoy appetizers and ice cream bar and a sunset ski lift ride. So everyone's excited for that. And there's a ton of events coming up. So this Sunday, there will be a senior parade uh, commencing at Shepherd Hill, and that'll run to the Heritage School. And then the week after that, there's a senior barbecue slated, uh, John and Abigail Adams breakfast, a pep rally, a senior breakfast, and finally, prom on that Thursday, May 27th, and the seniors have the day off on the 28th. And finally, for the seniors last week of school, Liam Coleman will be performing for the seniors during the Senior Sunset Concert on that Wednesday, followed by assemblies on Thursday and Friday, and graduation uh, June 6th at the DCU Center. So for graduation, each student has four tickets, which will be awesome. Uh, they can assemble a family, family pod but it is unsure of at this time how the new regulations will impact the number of people allowed to attend graduation, but I'm sure uh, that would be coming up as well. So extracurriculars, uh, all sports are under will, underway, track and field, lacrosse, baseball, softball, wrestling, tennis, and uh, huge congratulations to Claudia Bonaventura on scoring her 200th lacrosse goal for uh, Shepherd Hill against North, Northbridge this past Monday. And show choir and pit band also finished their competition season. So they're holding tryouts uh, this week, Monday and Wednesday for next year. And just some miscellaneous items. Uh, the National Honor Society uh, hosted its first ever cornhole tournament last Thursday uh, on the field. And it was kind of a perfect event for COVID. Uh, every board was spaced out, could wipe down the bags and the board. So 36 teams joined and it was a ton of fun. Uh, Shepherd Hill also finished uh, AP testing uh, this past Monday, so students will receive those scores in early July. And MCAS testing is this week as well, with English being today and Wednesday and math being uh, Thursday and Friday. And all sophomores are taking the exams, with it being optional for juniors, and the science MCAS will follow in uh, early June, as always. So that's it. Thanks, Henry. Henry, remind me, is this is your last meeting with us, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. I just want to say personally, you've done a great job this year. Honestly, I think you are going to be an incredible asset to Harvard. Um, I have no doubt that you have an amazing future ahead of you. And please let all of us know, A, how you're doing, and B, if we can ever help with anything. Thank you. I, I, I like to share Bill's thoughts on that. I mean, you're, you're, you're a good guy. And you're off. Don't just like I said before. Don't forget. Don't forget us little people in your future. <laughs> I won't. I promise. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks, Henry. Andrew, moving over to you for the TA report, please. All right. Um, we received a 
Letter from Cheryl Hansen, library director, that she will be retiring effective October 29th, 2021. Uh, it's been a pleasure to work with her, and I wish her well on her future retirement. We will be working with the library trustees in, in order to fill that position, but obviously a terrific law, you know, great loss to the, to the library upcoming. So, um, thanks, Jerry. Reappointments by the Board of Selectmen. So we'll be starting the process of notifying the individuals appointed by the board whose terms will be expiring June 30th, 2021, and asking if they wish to be reappointed. The list of reappointments will be provided to the board at your June meetings. Uh, should any board members have any questions regarding the reappointment process or employee performance, please let me know in advance of these meetings. And then just uh, as we discussed earlier, June 8th, we'll plan for an in-person uh, or turn to in-person meeting. So look forward to seeing you all in person again soon. So. Perfect. Any questions for Andrew on that? <clears throat> all right, hearing none, our favorite other business unknown the time of posting. Anything that we can talk around that won't get us in trouble? I can say that um, I received a call just today from um, Jim Cosgrove about we asked him a question during town meeting on whether if we could maybe have a raffle or something to kind of entice, um, you know, residents to show up, meet, you know, hand out tickets and, and maybe have businesses donate stuff to kind of, and he said that other towns do it and it's, there's no issues. He's still waiting for more, more feedback and more research. Uh, he kind of just sent an email to all the other, um, a municipal attorneys that work in all the different towns. Um, some towns have bands and 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 really do it up. Um, we kind of threw around the idea of maybe having food trucks before, so people can come directly from work and maybe have a you know have a, a, a decent meal and come. Um, so this will be you know I'm working with um, Jim and I'll talk to Noreen and we'll kind of present some ideas and we can discuss that at a later time. Mr. Chair. The food truck idea. I'm only jealous Most. that I didn't come up with it. <laughs> Mr. Chair. David, through you. Yeah, um, just for you or to you, you might want to ask Andrew to reach out to Oxford. They don't do it anymore, I don't believe, but they used to do, it was the moderator, I believe, had like uh, drawings for scratch tickets or they did something in Oxford and it got mixed reviews, but it might be worth having uh, a request to Andrew to reach out to the town of Oxford and find out how and when they had success doing that or not. Thanks, David. Patsy, if, if that's okay with you, I think it's a... It's a yeah, oh, yeah. And I, what I did was I, I um, when I talked to Jim, I said, well, can you... So he had all these ideas and, you know, the legality of all, and I said, can you reach back out and just um, ask if it actually approved things? Did it make... Um, did it actually make people come? Would you, I mean, I guess we can maybe put a survey out on our Facebook page to say, would you come for, you know, the food house? Would that entice you to uh, <laughs> have a meal, uh, have a meal and have yeah. a meeting? Or maybe you can do something like that, but. I came for the food truck, but I stayed for the food. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, absolutely right. You give, you give us your car keys before you go to the food truck. And then you get them back. Uh, Patsy, thank you for spearheading that. I think yeah, it is, yeah, thank you. obviously in, in concert with Noreen uh, to, to make that better. But yeah, yeah, thank you for doing that. Cool. Uh, anything else? Uh, other business? All right. Hearing none, the only thing I want to plant the seed on is historically we have done Board of Selectmen goals for a discussion at the June meeting. And this is actually going to segue somewhere. Um, I'd like us to think around maybe changing that this year and think around setting our goals specifically for Andrew this year so we can actually, uh, as part of his annual review, uh, talk about that. Again, not for tonight, something to plant the seed. We can have a discussion in June, potentially talk around goals one way or another uh, at our July meeting, um, which is a segue also to do, do any members of the board have any requests tonight for something that we want on the next agenda? <clears throat> That's okay. You can just get in touch with us, you know, prior to prior to the meeting. I'm just throwing it out there. Yeah. Cool. All right. And again, our next meeting is going to be, as Andrew mentioned, uh, it's going to be a regular meeting on June 8th, 6 30 p.m. It's going to be either Zoom or hybrid. More information to come. If we can be in person, we absolutely will. 
So anything else that the uh, board, inclusive of Henry, uh, wants to bring up? Yeah, I just want to say, since it is my last meeting, thank you guys so much for everything. I had a, I, I learned a ton about the local town politics. I didn't really know much going into it, but definitely coming out a year with you guys, uh, I'm very highly interested in what goes on. So I'm very grateful for the experience. Oh, oh. Pleasure was ours, Henry. Thank you. <clears throat> Cool. All right, not hearing anything else, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. I got a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Patsy. Uh, roll call vote, Basha. Yes. Steve? Aye. Patsy? Aye. David? Aye. Chair votes aye. We are adjourned 7.01 p.m. We will see you next month. Have any questions? Reach out. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night.